strike and very successful right out of the gate. Trubisky brings the Bears up first and 10 at their 25-yard line. Here's the first carry for Tariq Cohen. And he's upended after a gain of two out to the 27. Well, we saw him there trying to get it to the outside, trying to get to the perimeter, but not a whole lot of room there. But there's got to be one positive to that. If you keep moving laterally, creases tend to develop as the game moves on, and they can run it back inside later. Looking deep for Gabriel. And nearly an interception here on their opening drive. But instead, third down. Well, that certainly looked like something that they discussed all week in practice getting ready for this one. Take the big shot right out of the gate. At worst, you'll open up the defense a little bit, loosen them up, have them back on their heels. So the failure to connect on second down, that leaves them staring up here at a third and eight. From the gun, it's Trubisky. And that will be incomplete. And third down is a key down in any game you play. And third down defense, something we've got to watch in this one. Got to be effective on the passing downs. That's a pretty good first step right there. So on fourth down, on is the punter, Pat O'Donnell, to kick it away. And just a single punt for him in the loss last week as he sends this one away. And it goes a 42, make it a 43-yard punt. Six on the return. And the Niners will go on offense. First and ten. Here we go, here we go. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And last time, the formula was pretty simple. One play drive, long pass. That maybe they just want to do that again, right? And that's exactly how you want to draw things up, whether it's on your grease board, right, in your playbook. One play drives exactly what you want on offense. But they have to be careful of is not having a letdown. It was really easy Bro, last what you time. Thought? They can't expect that going Why forward. Why do you think when we'll you're trading me him and DC Emily, I went undefeated? Stick with it on first down. And the big boys up front. They're going to stop him right at the line. Tackle made there by Bilal Nichols. Early down stuff to put this offense in a precarious position. We know the securing the point of attack, especially against the big bodied guys in the middle of this D, has got to be priority one. So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Watch the screen. I got, I got this. Working from the gun, Garoppolo. And that's going to be incomplete. Good effort there. Trying to take a shot, but it's third down. How about this offense? Already feeling good about themselves with a touchdown already in their first drive? It certainly go, come out go. firing, even though that one was incomplete. With the 7-0 lead, more apt to take a shot like that downfield? Hey, you're one to the good. Go ahead and try and press your advantage. Throwing his Garoppolo on third down. That's to the right side, complete to Kittle. And they're going to mark him down short, maybe by about a yard, if that. It'll be a gain of eight, but it'll also lead to a fourth down. He wasn't the primary target, but I think it was almost like a, a check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies, unable to get it done. And the punt team on now as this one set away. Nice job bringing that one back. 14 on the return. And the Bears take over. <laughs> the offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And the last drive, the first drive for them, not very good. Three and out. What do they go to here? Well, you don't look down at your play sheet and say, this is what the problem is. Let's find out who my playmakers are. 
get the ball in their hands, and maybe the offense will move a little bit Sometimes better. it's more important to get it to the right people rather than dialing up the right number. Exactly. Or the, the right play. Yeah. That too. <laughs> First down, a run with Cohen. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It's a loss of four on the first down play. Up front, the struggles continue for this offense among the line. What can they do? Change the play calling? What? I think part of that, yes, changing some of the play calls, some screens, some draws, some misdirection. You want to run any type of a play that will influence these guys to continue to get upfield and find a way to use that against them and slip things in behind them. So some quick passes could work as well. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Open man is Trey Burton. And he can only manage to take this thing to the 38, well shy of the first down. The completion good for only six, and that'll bring up fourth. Here's Pat O'Donnell now, as he'll punt it away for the second time. First kick, 47. This one looks good as well. This will be fielded at the 17. A 41-yard punt, nine on the return. And out will come the offense as they take over. The 49er offense set to get this drive underway. They've got a 7-0 lead in the football as well as they start out first and 10. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. I know most of the time when the ball's in the air, you're thinking wide receiver, tight end, but running backs, they can be a big part of any passing offense nowadays. That last catch short of the marker by just a yard leaves him with a very manageable second and one. And he swallowed up right near the line of scrimmage. And the big fella stuffed that one up in a big way. I think doubling him has to be a priority because you can't move up to the next level if you don't take care of him first. Garoppolo to throw on third and one. And able to haul it in is Kittle. Defense was thinking run and they're dealt a pass of just under 20 yards. A lot of tight ends just use their size and their strength, try to occupy some space and kind of body people away and catch the football. But not this guy. He's a refined route runner. Makes me wonder if he took some dance classes in his background with his footwork. Here we go, here we go, here Garoppolo we go. now already over 100 yards passing in this first quarter. It's first and 10. Now a handoff looking right. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. This running game is so important for them, and they know that. It helped lead them to a victory last week when he was over 100 yards. Let's face it, it's their identity, and that's what they want to play to. They want to be that team that runs oh, the ball no really well each and every week, and Fresh right start. now we're seeing a pretty good pattern of that. You're already looking for reasons not to go to work. But you need to take your ass to work, so you need to look for reasons to go to work. From the 41, Garoppolo. And he's just going to get rid of this thing. To no one here, he throws it away. And now it's third. <laughs> that's going to be everywhere you go, bro. That's that's you. That ain't got nothing to do with the goddamn job. <laughs> that's you. You look for smoke. That's you. They come up now, third and five, following yeah, the incomplete you. pass. Oh, that's you. 11, 11. Flag comes in. This might be a free play. And he's going to go down. But a penalty flag down as well. And if this is offsides, it's going to be a first. Yep, you're changing to a motherfucker do some shit. Here's a first and ten now after they successfully drew him offsides. They don't give it here to his running back. And he'll be taken down as that will take us to the end of the first quarter of play. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Here we go. 
Right back to him on first down. In on the stop, the former Georgia Bulldog, Roquan Smith. They tried a quick hitter inside, but that one was swallowed up because what they're hoping, those big defensive linemen will take the bait and move laterally and open up a crease that they can run through. Didn't happen on that play. The run only got a yard. Here's second and nine. Now Garoppolo. Looking for the end zone. Back of the end zone. Could he get his feet down? No, it's incomplete. They decided to take a shot and right down the middle of the field. And really, they didn't give it as much time to develop, did they? They want to take that shot somewhere around the 15-yard mark. Okay. And the defense able to recover, bat it free. I don't see cracking anything in this game with the X Factor. Now play number eight on this drive, and they need nine yards to pick up the first on third. From the gun, it's Garoppolo. They'll buy some time right. And the throw there going to be incomplete. More problems here on third down. They've converted only once so far Safety. in this first half. First and you know as well as I do in this league, yeah. if you don't win on third down, it makes it hard to win a ball game because then you're relying on your defense, you're relying on your special teams. You've got to get it done with your offensive <laughs> unit. And Gold is able to put it through. <coughs> and the lead moves to 10 zip. So in the end, they had the ball for 10 plays, but the drive gets them three, not six. You caught me up, ain't you? On this one? Absolutely. All right, let's start defensively. They hung in there. 10-play drive, but they stiffened when they got close to the goal line, made them kick a field goal for the offense. 10-play okay, yeah. drive. Nobody with no, with no star. Goal, but they moved the ball Especially down the field Especially fucking with dispatch. full uh, body wagon. The Bears offense know. ready to go for their next drive. They've had it twice. They punted twice, not the start they were hoping for. Not at all. And let's face it, every facility we visit. And this throw will be intercepted. Picked off by Jason Barrett. And into the end zone. A pick six for the 49er D as they score the touchdown. That was an interception, but on the field, the guys who are picking it off, they're not saying that. What word are they using? It's Oski. And that means catch the ball and go the other way. That's your vernacular. I've never heard anybody say Oski. Ask around. They'll tell you. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. This will be fielded at the eight. And he'll bring it a few past the 20 to the 23-yard line. Over here. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And we don't want to call this desperation time, especially in the second quarter, but you're down. I know, but hold on, he finished. Okay, my bad. You're down three scores already. You've done nothing offensively, nothing on the scoreboard. That's that's not a good combination. I think you just, you called, a I think you just called a desperation time. I think you did, but let's face it, you, you mentioned this to me in a break earlier in the game. The, game. the energy level hasn't game. been there right from the start. We've noticed that. They've got to find a way to get on their toes and start punching instead of retreating to use a boxing analogy. Now a quick throw as that's complete on the hitch route. And a six-yard game gets them right around the 43. Brandon, perfect defense in this situation would have meant that there was an incompletion that would have picked it off. Okay, so they gave up the completion. But I really enjoyed watching how the defense stayed in sync, stayed in great communication. And as he dragged across each zone, you see him pointing, communicating. There he is, and they passed him off to each defender. Ended up making a nice play, even though it was complete. And he's dropped just before the line to game. Four-yard pickup leaves him with third and one. That's a really good job right there. Just kept stringing that play out, pushing further and further towards the sideline. Really good fundamentals by that defense. He was trying to put his foot in the ground and turn up field. He just couldn't. No, they really had a picket fence in front of him. No room to find to get upfield. And that would cover beautifully. 
Their defenders stayed home, and they'll stop him behind the line. It's a loss of a full three yards, and it brings up fourth down. They'll indeed go for it with Trubisky. Flush to his right. And this is going to be incomplete. Boy, a curious decision to go for it doesn't pan out. And the Niners take over in terrific field position. Now they try the right side here. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. Despite the blitz, they're still able to pick up a nice, solid gain. The disadvantage of blitzing here we go, here we go. often alters the normal spacing and run fits and leaves creases like they were able to exploit right there. Yeah, that's going to be incomplete. Too tough to hold on to that one. It's second down. It is tough to complete pass against zone defenses. The windows that you see open, they shrink pretty rapidly. How about being able to hit a moving target against a zone before the next guy can get there and make a play on the ball? Not easy for any quarterback, no matter the situation. And there, the defense won the battle. Garoppolo now. Goodwin able to haul it in. Touchdown, 49ers! Jimmy Garoppolo with his second touchdown pass of this first half. And the Niners are able to stretch their lead. Now he's having a nice little first half here, partner. And it's a first half that leaves us anticipating what can still come. I mean, two touchdowns already here through the second quarter. There could be plenty more before this game is over. Gold with the extra point, and a route is on here in this first half. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be fielded at the eight. And he'll get it up past the 20 to the 22-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. And some dangerous territory. You're already down three scores. A three and out here or an inability to put any points up. This one might be over by half. Yeah, and what you also have to guard against is calling every play for a big shot downfield. You know, thinking you're going to get all these points back on one drive. You're not. And last time I looked, it's still the first half. I'm not saying you have ultimate patience here, but you also don't have to go ahead and force everything either. And he's got this one across midfield in the 49er territory. It's a six-yard pickup, and it gets him to second and four. Well, we're resigning the players. Yeah, you might have to wait to see how much room we got left. A reminder, hey, once we uh, hit halftime as we do all season, season, we'll send it down to Jonathan Coachman in Orlando. Right. He'll have all the stats and scores from games in progress around the NFL. The best multitasker in the business, the coach. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. This offense finding its legs now. Here's another first and ten. <laughs> Looking to throw again, Trubisky. And he'll find Hall. And he'll go out of bounds after taking it a little further down inside the 40. The completion good for three, and it's second down. One thing you're hoping for when you run drag routes, you're able to hit a receiver in stride, and he can pick up a lot of yardage after the catch. But in this situation, the defense was effective. Able to... And he fires one that's intercepted. Picked up by Quan Alexander, and his guys will take over at the 25-yard line. That's sort of a second quarter to forget for him. Now two picks in this frame. Almost as if the first one that he threw, he couldn't shake, couldn't get it out of his head. He ends up throwing a second one as a result. Compounds the mistake a little bit. Yeah, you got it. This is intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it. And he's able to take this one back. To the 36 yard line. I just feel, I just feel a pick two and I should have done. I don't know why he threw like that. So from the 36 now, first and 10. After the interception, here's Trubisky. And a big loss here as he's taken down. Nick Bosa able to record his fifth sack of the season. I spent a lot of extra time preparing for this game watching this offensive line because they gave up five sacks last week in their loss. They just gave up another one now. 
they don't seem to be working together as a cohesive unit. Right? Four guys might have it right, but the fifth guy is giving something up. They've got to find a way to all get on the same page. Under pressure again, and down he goes again. Credit the sack to the Oregon Duck to Forrest Buckner. The 49ers now going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. <laughs> After that sack we just saw, Trubisky and the Bears deal with a third and long. Now Trubisky on third and long, going up top. Oh my God! The a heck of a play there on third down, but amazingly they're still short for fourth. <laughs> now the Bears going to call the first oh, of their timeouts as they'll stop it with a little over 30 seconds to go in the first oh. half of play. Well, oh. John Harbaugh going to roll the dice. They're going for it on fourth down. They'll try and throw for it with Trubisky. And my goodness, this is incomplete. Or it looked like he had it and dropped it. Wow. And the 49ers are going to get the football back. That's another mistake there on the drop pass on fourth. And we've seen him do things like this all game. It's not hard to figure out why they're down by that deficit. They haven't made plays that are going to keep them in the game or win the game all game long. That's another example right there. It all boils down at the end of it to execution. Either you make the play or you don't. White, white, white. 21, 21. Garoppolo, a final shot here beforehand. And he's going to go down. Couldn't get a throw off with a pressure. Maybe that was for the best. As that brings us to the end of this first half of play. All right, coach. Thank you. And we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The offense now at the line, ready for their next drive. And that first half, one to forget really on both sides of the ball. They got to find some way to string something together here, don't they? Yeah, they're down big right now. So as you mentioned, trying to find something to string together, get some consistency, something sustained, maybe calm their whole team down and find a way to get back in this one. Yeah, because right now you're down big, you're being shut out. Let's see if this is the drive that kind of kickstarts them. They'll operate from the 32-yard line here, second and three. Now a fake on the give here as they try the run pass option. And he drops it incomplete. And their struggles continue here. We saw this a lot in the first half, and it continues. These receivers just not able to get much separation. So that means they have to win the 50-50 balls. They've got to go up with the defender and find a way to start coming down with them. And this time, contact and another incomplete pass. Got an open man. That's Campbell. And he will have a first down as they get him to the ground at the 37. Give him the third down conversion. Five yards on the play. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. They go play action with Trubisky. Trying to lay one up deep. And it's knocked away and incomplete. He was looking that time to get it to Paris Campbell. And it's second down. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Now he'll dump it underneath to his running back, complete. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into a wall right around the line of scrimmage. 
Another down on the scoreboard, but the urge to go for it is almost irresistible here on fourth and short. Yeah, I know. I know they're on their own side of the field. I was going to say. Normally, I would say punt the ball away, but I'm feeling it. I say go for it. And in their own territory, needing only a few inches, they're going to line up to go for this thing on fourth down. They'll try and run for it. They only needed about four or five inches there, relied on the big guys up front, and got it done. Yeah, this is the time to just go ahead and hit it straight ahead. No juking, right? No movement in the backfield. Take the ball and go. As I heard a coach tell a player a long time ago, save your dancing for the club, son. Just get up into that line of scrimmage. A little bit of space there for the first down run as that's going to get him about five yards. After the pickup of five, here's second and five. Now it's Trubisky. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked off near the 26. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. First possession of the third quarter, an interception, so maybe a second-half tone setter. Indeed, and not the tone they wanted to set. That's the equivalent of running out the wrong door and running into your pool instead of running out onto the field. A real dud for that one. Has that happened to you before? No, but I've heard stories about teams actually doing that back in the good old days. Call it a gain of four on first, and that'll make it second down. Third quarter, and you've got the lead. You're not ready to go into that four-minute offense to close the game out. Yeah, I'll just pick but a running game can really benefit your team right now. Hey, John, John. From the 44. Garoppolo, deep ball for Goodwin. In a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Eddie Jackson picks it, and a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Now they needed a break. They needed to make a play here in the third quarter. Defensively, they did that. Now they got to go quickly and get some points on the board. And the best part is that they made their own break, taking the ball away. Now they just look at their offense and saying, guys, let's go. Come on, capitalize on this one. The Bears offense ready to go for their next drive. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I was at a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, oh, man, I can't throw four. No, what's interesting is what do the coaches decide to do now? Having thrown three, do you alter your offensive strategy? Do you take the ball out of his hands and maybe turn to the running game? Or do you have that supreme confidence that he's going to turn things around? <laughs> we'll see what they do. Officially nothing on that last run. They'll try again second and ten. Now Trubisky back into his end zone. This one out left to the tight end, Burton. And they'll get him down up past the 15. 16 yards, a first down. So that last play gives him a little more space now. Here's first and ten at the 16-yard line. Now Trubisky to throw. In trouble here. And down he goes, back at the eight-yard line. DeForest Buckner able to get in there for his second sack of the afternoon. Got to imagine the pass rush will be equally intense here on second down following the sack. It's second and 18. Here's Trubisky. Gets this to Campbell out on the right side. And he will lose yardage here back to his own six. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And they're going to face an uphill battle here on third and long. From the shotgun is Trubisky. This is Gabriel out on the left side. And he's going to be stopped well short of what he needed as the tackle is made at the 18-yard line. They get 12 yards back, but it still leads to a fourth and long. So much about this game is just understanding situations and then having to execute, isn't it? Guard the first down sticks. Don't let them get there. And they rallied and made the tackle. Here we go on fourth down with Trubisky. And this is incomplete. So certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And boy, possession here turns over with the football already being in the red zone. 
Here we go, here we go, here we go. 30. Let's go, dude. 11, 11. 45, 45. Mike, 45. Let's go, go. Cut. They go back to the air here after the INT on the last drive. And he's going to be intercepted a third time. Picked up by Marcus Williams. We'll try to get one more in here before the quarter breaks. They'll start things on first with Torrey Cohen. He's going to have the first down past the 20. As they'll finally stop him at the 23-yard line. Back now at Soldier Field. A lot of folks starting to make their way to the parking lot. Their guys trailed big here to begin quarter number four. Now here's a pass on first down that's knocked away and incomplete. Just nothing there again. He's been sacked multiple times. We've seen the interceptions, of course. Uh, he's really been through the ringer, hasn't he? And what we've seen is a defense is well-coordinated. The front and the back really in sync. The front putting on the pressure. The backside being ball hawks and picking passes off. You got the big lead defensively. Willing to give him that underneath stuff, right? And this is why you work on your tackling. Tackle him after the catch, inbounds, keep the clock running. Just go ahead and bleed the game out that way. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. Boy, it just seems like all game long there hasn't been a lot of sync quarterback to wide receiver on this side of the football. They haven't been on the same page, quarterback and receivers. Heck, they haven't been on the same grease board when you draw plays up. They haven't been on the same surface tablet that you look at on the sidelines. Nothing's worked for them. They've got to find a way to start. And it's a fumble. And now this is scooped up by the 49ers. And they're going to be set up in the red zone at the 15. And they're not able to convert on fourth down. As they say, this game hasn't exactly been one for the books. I mean, we're into the fourth quarter here. And now this happens, another turnover. Not one that they're going to hold up and say, yeah, this has been a banner day. Absolutely. Still sitting on zero. After the fumble recovery, it's Garoppolo. This is caught. And he can't quite get there. Tackled down at the one. Sets him up nicely. First and goal. It was a pickup of 14. Here we go. Here we go. 21. 21. Check 26. Check 100. They'll try to run this one in. Fighting for the end zone. He lost the football. It's out. And across the goal line into the shit. end zone. Touchdown 49ers. George Kittle, his first touchdown on the year. And the Niners take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. Gold able to tack on the extra point. And the lead will swell by one more. <laughs> After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be fielded at the 8. And he'll get it up across the 20 to the 21-yard line. At the line, prepping for their next drive, the Bears offense. And let's face it, this drive is not going to have any bearing on this game, but it's kind of important for one reason, isn't it? It certainly is. you got to get points. And okay, all right, I'm being facetious here. But you get points, you feel a little bit better about yourself as you move on to the next one. Now the first play of the drive there is incomplete. From the 21, it's second and 10. Here we go, here we go. Watch the ship, watch the ship, hey, hey, watch the ship, watch the ship. Check, check, I, Fred, no, Fred, no, Fred, no. You, you. Hey. Now a handoff looking right. They'll wind up getting 10 back as that sets him up for third down. Well, partner, I know this type of running back. I mean, this size, this intensity usually gets better as the game goes on. And I just tell you from experience, the first few quarters, oh, you're eager. You come running up there. I'm going to tackle this guy. By the fourth quarter, you're coming up and thinking about it. And D-line wearing down fourth quarter. Yeah, that's not a guy they want to see consistently. Officially a gain of just a yard there, but they do convert on third and inches. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Now it's Trubisky. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. 
Picked off by Jason Verrett. And a great return here gets this one all the way down to the 26-yard line. Well, this defensive pressure has been constant all game long. The pass rush, the coverage, they've all been excellent. And now they'll tack on an interception here as this one continues to slip just further and further out of hand. Now they try the right side here. And now off to the races, down the right side. And across the chalk, into the end zone, it's a 49er touchdown. A great effort there. His ninth touchdown of the season. And the Niners take advantage of field position on the turnover to cash this one in. After the touchdown, it's Robbie Gold now to kick it away. This will be fielded at the eight. And he'll take it past the 25 and up to the 28-yard line. The offense back out there at the line, ready for their next drive. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily that you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. A second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. Brandon, at least there's one bright side to that incompletion. What's that? It wasn't an interception. Wow. <laughs> you're, you're a nice guy. That was kind of savage. But correct. No, no pick, just incomplete that time. Steps away. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Nick Bosa in there to get him. And that is sack number six now for him on the year. Here's Pat O'Donnell now as he's on to punt for Chicago. And he uncorks a beauty, best of the day. The Niners take we got over this. first and 10 at their own 12-yard line. Here we go. The 49er Three. offense set to get this drive underway. And this game comfortably in hand. The scoreboard speaks for itself, but you still got your starting quarterback out there. When do you go to the backup, let him get some time? And that's one of the great questions in the NFL, Brandon, because I'm just going to tell you, in the 2015 season, I commentated on three games in a row that were blowouts. And in none of them did the starting quarterback ever come out of the game for the team that had a big lead. And in each instance, I asked the coaches later on, why didn't you do that? And they all looked at me and said, I know just to really do that in the NFL. We, you know, these guys play, and we just play them all the way through. Now, in certain situations, they, they will take the... And got his man complete! And all the way down to the left <laughs> A big play there for the Niners. And even 50 yards. So that changes things a bit. Here's a first and 10 all the way down at the 35. I got I got this. Now a handoff here to his running back. They follow up that gigantic game with the tiniest of pickups, one yard. Well, they had that one sniffed out. Excellent run blitz. Stopped that one for a short gain. What makes a good run blitz a good run blitz? The ability to stay on task, to follow up your assignment, go to the gap you're supposed to cover, and not be deterred by anything else. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. It's a first down on a gain of 10. No money for what? Do my eyes deceive me, oh, or is he getting no, stronger no. as this game moves along? Cap is a set amount. Seems just as good here I'm in the fourth as it was way back in the first, doesn't it? I do believe someone put a lot of time in in the offseason and continues to condition during the season in order to continue to carry the ball at this rate. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Do that. And again, this time to the tailback. Trying to run inside, but nothing there. It was the linebacker, Leonard Floyd, on the stop. Here we go. 82, 2, 2, 2. 
So the victory here. I don't know if it's going to let you be. But then it's going to change the whole roster. They might cut people. 